Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Shen Plays. Welcome to a terrible accident here in Hohenzollern. Very, very sad day. March 16th, 1520. Friedrich Eugen Visconti has died. So what do we do? Well, stability in every province reduced by 20. That's not acceptable. Uh... Never did like him. I think that's what we're going to do, because the prestige we can get back really quickly, and we don't need the morale of armies right now. Alright, so what happens now? What, what do we do? We don't have an heir. What do we do? We get Burgon, which is Castile's dynasty. I would be okay with that, really. Right now, if the king of Milan dies, I get a union over him. That's rather nice. Yeah, he's 40 with no air. Neat. Okay. So hopefully the king of Milan will die and we'll get that union. But if my king dies first, we'll have a different dynasty. And then we'll disqualify from the union. And yeah, for some reason, France now has my dynasty. I don't know why. He just got it. He's 19 years old. He just got my dynasty. Who's he married to that gave him my dynasty? Scotland, maybe? No, he's not married to Scotland. Maybe he was married to Scotland, and that's how he got the dynasty. Probably. Oh, man, this is so weird. All right, let's continue with our wonderful war with France. And every now and then, we got to check on the province stability up here. It's still at... Um, Highly unstable, negative three. So that's going to take some time. Lots of our provinces are going Lutheran. All these blue ones are Lutheran. Oh, Sweden has flipped to Lutheran. Look at that. Dauphine, please go siege your core. Dauphine, there you go. Go siege your core. Good Dauphine. Who's a good Dauphine? Who's a good Dauphine? You are. You're a good Dauphine. Good Dauphine. Oh shit, call for peace. And we're only at 69% war score. That's not good enough. Well, looks like we're going to have to sit with call for peace for a while. All right, Picardy has finished, so we can start rolling back. Uh, why don't you chill in Neuchâtel in case we need somebody on the front lines? Aha! And the Knights have finished their war with Turkey. They took two provinces. Wow! The Knights have taken land from Turkey. Of all the people to defeat Turkey in a war, I did not expect the Knights to do it. They only have one province. Granted, they make an absolute ton of money on it. But still, that's surprising. That being said, that gives them a foothold here, and uh, they may destroy Turkey. It's possible. Recently, Turkey has switched to the Ottoman Empire government, a Turkish-dominated empire founded by the Osman dynasty. The Ottoman Empire followed a tradition of religious and cultural tolerance, a territorial expansion. So that's kind of cool. It's an actual government type for the nation of Turkey. Hmm. Interesting. Alright, come on. Finish your sieges. Go to Luce. Guillen. Whatever your name is. I wonder what kind of peace deal we're going to get anyway. We're at 70% war score. It's going to be an interesting peace deal. The problem is, a lot of his provinces are going to be uh, worth a lot of war score. So it's going to be a slow progress, right? Oh, shit. Burgundy's killing the fucking Nationalist. Damn it, Burgundy. Don't kill the Nationalist. We're not going to be able to get everything in one war, right? It's going to be a few wars. Uh-oh. We just maxed out somebody. Who was it? Lüneburg? No. Hesse? Yes. Okay, come back from Hesse. 
So for this one, I would like to get French Comte and Charolais. That way we can walk into Burgundy's lands easily. Uh, and I would also like to get these two lands for Dauphine. He's going to have both of them sieged. And I would like to get whatever the hell Guienne has sieged. So I won't take anything for myself, except maybe Nice. Nah, I'll leave Nice alone. I won't take anything for myself. Hey, let's play some Jeu de Pomme with Milan. Yeah. You going to die? Go ahead and die, dude. I'll take your dynasty. I mean, I'll take your, your throne. Not a problem. Guillen, will you please siege? It's it's your core, Guillen. Siege it. Oh, god damn it. Why is Castile sieging it instead of Guillen? Whatever. Alright, Dauphine finished his. Ooh. These pop ups are coming so quickly. Uh, a peak. We'll play uh, a bobble. Since I have extra military points right now. Another bobble. We have an error. 154 Magnus. Not bad. Strong claim Magnus. Okay. So apparently we're going to keep this dynasty. Hopefully Milan will die. And yeah, another bobble. Oh, there we go. Now Guillen is sieging the right province. Good. Oh my god, this match is going on forever. Hey, Burgundy's ready to be annexed. Cool. We're not going to annex you for a little while, Burgundy, because you've got cores and shit all over the place. Oh my god, this, this fucking Jeu de Pomme match needs to end. Please end it. Holy crap, we won. We got 30 of every category. Wow. Apparently the way we won that Jeu de Pomme match gave us a whole bunch of shit. Cool. I approve. Guillen, please seed your core. Please. Please. Oh my god. Why are you not sieging your core? What takes precedence over sieging your own goddamn core? Oh, this is infuriating. Yeah, look at this. He's just, he touches it and then he runs away. It's your core. Siege it. I don't know how. How about if I take one dude? Might as well take the general. I'll take one dude. I'll march over here. We'll put the check mark on. And then we'll drag you on the Baron. Okay, will that help? God, this guy's so fucking stupid. Siege your fucking core. You son of a bitch. Checkmark is on, and he won't siege it. What the fuck is wrong with this guy? And yeah, he just leaves. He's refusing to siege it. Alright, fine, fuck it. 83%, that's probably enough to get whatever we want. Let's take a look at what's available. So, first and foremost, let's make sure we get all of these core... Oh my god, we're not going to be able to get very much. Oh, shit. French Comte, Gap. Wow, that's 86% already. Okay. Can I get Charolais as well? Nope. That's too expensive. Well, damn. Hmm. Might as well get Lyonnais while we're here. Maybe we'll turn these off. Oh, jeez. 104. 
It's just too expensive. Damn it. Is there anything less than 18%? I could do that. Or that. That one might even be better. This one's a base two, this one's a base one. Ah, this one has a uh, bonus for being in the Pyrenees, interesting. No, I think we'll go for this one. It's a base two, it's got some copper. Yeah, it'll give my vass a little bit more cash. Yeah, let's do that. The hell is it called? Trobes? Tarbs. Okay, there you go. So that's the peace deal. We're only going to get one, two, three, four, five provinces in the peace deal, but it's probably worth it. I think that's pretty good. Maybe I should just not do Burgundy. Hmm. Maybe I should do more for uh, Guienne down here. Because Burgundy's doing all right on their own. Yeah, let me... Mm, Charlotte. Go away, Charlotte. So what can we do for 70... For uh, 28? 21. That's too much. 21. That's probably a better thing than Burgundy. Because Burgundy's already strong. But this will make my other vassal strong as well. It'll make it easier for him to siege more shit. Kind of what I like is the the fact that he can siege more shit. Wow, the total war score for France is 1,140. That's quite a bit. That is a lot of war score. Uh, maybe we skip Tarbs. Skip Tarbs. And maybe we can squeeze something like Roerge. There we go, 99. Ah, even better. Even better. Great. And a couple ducats. There you go. All right. Fabulous. Okay, and France has my dynasty. What happens when he dies? I get a union. <laughs> Love it. Love it. He's not going to die at 20, but maybe... Maybe we'll get super lucky and he'll die at 20 years old. He's not going to die at 20 years old. But maybe. Oh my goodness. Excellent. We're back at peace. And now what we're going to do is try to form Germany. And that's going to be dependent on this province becoming stable. That's all we have to do is get stable. Alliance with Scotland. Do I want that? I sort of don't. But I'll take it. Relations are okay. 12 out of 10 is fine. Milan has no heir. We could claim throne, but we don't need to. Right now, it says we're going to get the union even if we don't claim the throne. So there's no reason to claim the throne unless you wanted to go to war for it. I think I'd rather not go to war for it. Hmm. Despite Ludwig's effort to mediate between the different religious groups of our nation, conflicts have been erupting on a regular basis. The situation has worsened, and without drastic measures, we will soon be engulfed in a religious civil war. Eradicate the heretics to bring about peace, or strive for a tolerant society. Uh, both of them have the same effects, plus three national revolt risk. Uh, tolerance of the faith goes down, tolerance of heretics goes down, which increases revolt risk uh, nationally by two. So when it says revolt risk plus three, it really means revolt risk plus five. So that's a lot of revolt risk. Add that on to our 2.19 for war exhaustion, and we're, we're basically going to be thrown into a situation where we're going to have revolt risk pretty much everywhere. Okay. Why does it have red band? It was like vast. And rebels? Oh, it's sieging. Okay. Hungary's invading Bulgaria, apparently. Fun times. Hmm. More colonists. Yeah, but we don't actually have any colonies yet, so that doesn't really help much. Although, more missionary strength is nice. And we could take another idea group. If we did, what would we take? Probably military. 
What idea group do we want? We have quality and standing army. Defensive or offensive? Ooh. What's better, defensive or offensive? Fort defense? Army morale recovery. Infantry is cheaper. Infantry combat is better. Leader fire. Siege ability. National garrison growth is dumb. Attrition for enemies. Okay. Offensive. We already have forced march. Forced march was from quality, I think. Offensive. Leader shock. Cavalry combat. Prestige from battles. Land attrition. Leader maneuver. Cavalry cost. Leaders that upkeep. And army tradition plus 0.5. I do like the army tradition. A lot. And we don't get any morale bonus down here, do we? Hmm. But I also like the infantry combat ability down here because uh, that's the thing you lose the most in battles. You lose infantry more than anything else. So increasing their combat ability means you'll lose less of them. Hmm. I don't really care about attrition for enemies. And I certainly don't care about, like, fort defense. That's stupid. Hmm. I think it comes down to, do I want leader shock and tradition, or do I want leader fire and infantry combat ability? Because those are the two things that I really give a crap about. Hmm. Well, and less attrition for me is good as well. Oh, crud. Well, what's it say here? Let's see. Quality, quantity, cavalry, infantry, mercenary, blah, blah, blah. Autocracy. They're both good, but I think we'll go for offensive. All right. Don't need the prestige, though. But we did get more missionary strength. Ooh, diplomatic relations plus one. Cool. And we can still tech up if we want to, but there's no rush. We're, we're pretty much the tech leaders, so there's really no rush. Although this one, this, dip, this diplomatic tech might be enough to give us the ability to colonize. Maybe. We really are out of range. 485.70, 485.80. Nope. Oh, look at that. <laughs> 518 is the range. My range is 517. Wow. That is just sad on so many levels. Well, next tech, I guess. Next tech. All right, so do we want to fight some rebels or lose stability? It doesn't really matter. I think we'll just fight the rebels. Where are they going to be? Wittenberg, All right? Where the fuck is Wittenberg? Wittenberg, there. Okay. Colonial advisor. Oh yeah, maybe we can find a colonial advisor. Trade efficiency, missionary strength, and magnet reputation. Colonial range. All right. Hey, we can now reach it just very... Oh, we can get South America, too. What would be better? Is this tropical? It's tropical. But this is Arctic. So, I mean, they're both penalized. Let's see, attrition. Local settler minus 10. Local settler minus 25. But it is better land. I'm not sure which one I really want, though. Uh, do we want North America colony or South America colony? I really don't give a crap about... Uh, Greenland up here. I think we'll go for a North America colony first. So let's go ahead and get that going. Great. And move our armies down. Not going to marry my vassals. There's no point. Okay. Highly unstable. That's going to take some time. You know what we can do, though? We can do this. National unity? Is that what I want? That gives revolt risk plus three. National tax minus five. Why would you ever want that? Revolt risk plus three and national tax minus five. That sounds terrible. 
Uh, we want this. Increased stability. And that will uh, slowly increase stability in our provinces, right? Yeah. What does this do? National unity. It says it increases revolt risk by 3, and it lowers our taxes by 5%. That is weird. Ooh, Edict of Tolerance. Religious Unity plus 20. Oh, well, that's nice. Cool. That's awfully nice. So to form Germany, we just need... Okay, we need National Unity. So that's what that policy is for. This policy is for forming Germany. But we don't need it yet because we don't have this down to quiet. This needs to be quiet. Be quiet. Yeah, revolt risk is getting up there. Can I get an advisor for revolt risk, maybe? Uh, revolt risk. Nope. There's nobody available for revolt risk. Well, crap. Wow, look at all that Lutheranism. Wow, it's everywhere. All right, what can we do here? Kill some rebels. Kill some rebels and lose stability, or give concessions. Missionary strength goes down, but we get better tech. No, I think we'll just kill the rebels. Where are they? And halt. Noble Uprising. Okay. Oh, we're losing money now. Why are we losing money? Oh, because the revolt risk is up. When revolt risk goes up, you lose money. That's unfortunate. Let's see. The new courthouse in Freely has led to many aristocrats demanding that they be appointed as judges. Let the people vote. There you go. Screw the aristocrats, right? France is improving relations with us. Well, we are the same dynasty. Milan still has no baby. France still has no baby. But he can't get a... Oh, France is in a war. He can't get in a union when he's uh, in a war. So he needs to be at peace. down to unstable. We're almost there. We're almost there. Oh man. Come on. Go stable. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to get relations up with France just in case we get this union. We're not going to get it, but just in case it happens. We'll get relations up, and uh, that'll be that. Oh, Frankfurt has converted. Lose six. So we're not going to have any imperial authority pretty soon here. That's unfortunate. But nothing I can do about that. Uh, Imperial authority is hard to come by when people are converting religions back and forth. Mm. 
Everywhere is quiet. Quiet is all we need. Renaissance Palazzo. Cool. Oh my god, we're almost there. Colony successful. All right. We're chopping wood. We got a colony. We got a colony. Nice. Oh, Milan. Uh, France had a baby already? No. Interesting. But he's not listed. Oh, he is listed. I'm just not married to him. Okay. But we don't need a marriage because we have the same dynasty. Yeah. Go ahead and die, Milan. Go on. Die. You're 42. Time for you to die. Free manpower. I like free manpower. Still unstable. Come on. Stabilize. Ooh, suppress the Reformation. Actively work to prevent our people from leaving the Catholic faith. This will reduce but not eliminate the chance of conversion. Ooh. Whoa. Local revolt risk goes up by two. But. But maybe we want that. Nah, not yet. Oh, Bavaria is improving relations. Nice. Hey, what was this? What was this? Uh, Castile. What is this? Gren oh, Castile declared war on Grenada. I thought it was something amazing. It wasn't. How's France doing on his whole military thing? Uh, he's at 11 guys, or 12 guys. Okay, I'm going to bring my troops home. Oh, shit, I left a dude over here. Uh, can I get access in France? Oh, yeah, good. I'll need it. I'll get that unit out of there. Castile needs help. Hold on. You need my help against Grenada. Are you sure you need my help against Grenada? Really, they have three provinces or something. You don't... Oh, fuck you, Castile. God damn it. I'm trying to do something here. No fucking damn it. I'll wait a month. but I'm, I'll join the war, but I'll wait a month. Damn it, Castile. All right, get out of there. Group up. Get out of there. And da -da -da -da, get rid of military access. Check the stability. Stable. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. Wait. Oh, no. Not all provinces are quiet. Wait, what's... Where's not quiet? Oh, God damn it. This mouse over needs to tell you where is not quiet. Don't make me look around for shit that's not... Oh, it's over here. It's Sirods. Fuck. And Poznan is still highly unstable. All right, I think what we're going to do is stomp these flat. I didn't realize these places weren't stable yet. Well, I should have known. I should have known to check, right? All right, so we'll join this war with Castile. Damn it. You know what, though? We're out of time for this episode today. Thank you guys for joining me. I have been Shen. You have been you. France has rebels again. I'll see you next time where we'll probably be clicking a button. Have a good day.